So it is a very exciting week for everyone that is a Bond fan. Um, this week, obviously, is the release of No Time to Die, finally, after two years. And I've just had another delivery, which will probably be the last pair of No Time to Die shoes, I think. Um, so yeah, it is the Drake's pair. Just a wrist check, Tudor Chrono today. So, um, Daniel Craig wears these with the Massimo Alba uh, suit. I've got another video on that that I probably reviewed about a year ago now. It's been such a long time since the movie's, you know, been due, or delayed rather. Um, I've been making these videos for about two years now for this particular movie. Um, So uh, these are suede shoes, they're made in Italy. Uh, these are shipped from the UK. Uh, I've never had a pair of Drake's before. These retail at £295. It does, if you go on the website now, it looks like a load of people are buying them. So there's only a few sizes left if you're, if you're trying to get these. Um, got a few other James Bond um, shoes here, just for comparison. Some of the other, we've got the Crockett and Jones, uh, the Moltons, um, some from Quantum of Solace, uh, that was from Spectre, just to compare them. So, just move that down. Drake's turns, exchanges. Pretty simple, usual kind of stuff. Right, here we have the first one. So these are kind of a casual shoe. They, on the website, they describe them as, you know, being able to wear them with jeans and knitwear or a loose suit. Um, so they've got, uh, their actual full name is Crosby Mokto Chuckaboot in brown suede. Feels feel very. I mean, they're not unlined, so they're quite soft. And uh, if you look at the pictures on online of uh, Daniel Craig wearing them, they do look a bit. They do look a little bit tatty, or a little bit. I mean, he has been running around doing fight scenes, jumping off bridges, and you know, fighting the usual bad guys and things. But um, yeah, not normally the kind of shoe I'd go for. So let me take the other one out. So they describe the sole, uh, it's, it's very squishy. They describe it as a, a crepe sole. Um, it was made in Italy. And, uh, you know, when I first saw it, I wasn't sure if it did go with the Massimo Alba suit, but obviously that's how they chose to pair it. Um, that's interesting. It's got two options for laces. Didn't notice that before. So, so you wanna mix things up a bit. Just open this up. So it's three, just three holes for the for the laces. Yeah, I mean they're a nice pair. Um, just not something I'd normally go for. Um, yeah, they're very nice. So comparing them to another one of the these are well worn now because of these are the Moltons from. Uh, Crock and Jones have had these and worn these many, many times uh, because they were available about two years ago. So just comparing them, this is way heavier. Uh, it's much, much heavier boot. Um, the sole's far heavier, got, you know, a lot of grip, much more of a heel as well on the Moltons. Um, I prefer the Crock and Jones. I mean, the leather is 
really nice and rugged. I feel like these will last, you know, your entire lifetime. And they're far more structured with the lined uh, interior as well. And they've kind of, you can see where it's molded to my, my ankle. Um, yeah, I'll uh, look forward to wearing these. Um, overall, pretty nice. They look like they'll be comfortable, kind of relaxed uh, shoes. So, um, thanks for watching, and I hope everyone enjoys the movie this week, if you're going to see it.